What's up guys, this is Miles Brown and we're watching NBA 2K TV. Woo! Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome to this week's episode of NBA 2K TV. On today's episode, you vote on the top plays of the week. Scott OG gives you some winning tips, cap the My Park Championship, and hang with the young superstar of Blackish, Miles Brown. You may have seen our next guest on primetime TV touring and dance shows around the world or sitting courtside at NBA games. And recently, I found out this 10 year old superstar is also pretty skilled in NBA 2K. <laughs> What's up guys, today I am here with my good friend, Miles Brown from Blackish, also an NBA fan. Yes. And NBA 2K NBA fan. NBA 2K fan, all day. I'm on that game 24 seven, you can't get me off the game. So what's your favorite mode? My favorite mode is my career, the park, my park, and I like um, my GM. My GM? Uh -huh. So you have a little business mind. Yeah, I do. <laughs> So you're my career player, do you play with a point guard? My character, <laughs> um, he was a 6'8", 235-pound shooting guard, and um, he- So kind of like LeBron? Yeah, I, I was, <laughs> Except that shooting guard. <laughs> yes, I was like yelling so much when, he, when I found out that he's gonna be traded to the Cavaliers, so that was really fun. Yeah. yeah. We both have our LeBrons on today, so I thought it'd only be right if we did a LeBron move. Yes. So we're gonna start in our right hand, cross over to the left. Then we're gonna go between the legs, left to right. Back between the legs, right to left. Back between the legs, left to right. Now we're gonna switch legs, right to left. Left to right. Right to left. And then left-handed spin move. Shot. Yes. Game winner! Yes. Yes. Woo! Pay attention, LeBron. Yeah. New skills no, no, coach. No, 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 wait, wait, don't touch <laughs> It's your man, Dazar, the 2K Whisperer, all up in your ear with the My Park Championship recap. Things are shaking up in the park, and the current leader, Rivet City, better watch they back. Last week's round was a nail fighter with Rivet City Rough Riders, and the Sunset Beach Ballers battling it out at the beginning of the weekend. Rivet City's top performer, Tight World, delivered 189 wins. But it wasn't enough. Sunset ended up with their second consecutive win, thanks to a serious effort from Mr. Sprinkles again this week with 223 wins and Clutch Boy 67 bringing in 194 dubs himself. It seems Rivet City was caught in a Sam I Am nap state. They were sleeping yet again because the trailing Old Town Flyers gave another late run for second place and almost took it home. But this round, they came up short. It's not for a lack of trying, though, by Edwin Yo Dog 617 and Iggy both bringing in 194 wins. Rivet City clung to second by a very thin thread by a mere 1,000 wins. We are now seven rounds in, and here are your team standings. Rivet, 10 points. Sunset, 9 points and Old Town with a terrible two points. Now, as we recall last season, Sunset gave up the championship to Old Town in a final round upset. Can the ballers complete their comeback and close the deal this year? It's looking likely. Another winning week and they could tie or overtake Rivet City for first place. While reminiscing about last year, why don't you head on over to Sunset Beach on Wednesday for some house rules. They'll be playing with 2K15 rules. Games will be the 15 counting by ones and twos. And remember, it's still anyone's championships and the stakes are high. Winning team gets a brand new park and a whole lot of bragging rights. So get out and represent your community. Until next time, it's your man Dazar, the 2K Whisperer, reminding you that real ballers do it in the park. When you first found out that you were gonna be one of the stars of Blackish, what was your reaction? So I got the call and they're like, so you did a good job. And I'm like, okay, this sounding this starting to sound like a bad thing because they're <laughs> like already complimenting me. But um, but um, then they said, you got it. I'm like, what, 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 what? And I started running around like 10 times the whole house and that was really cool.
So, do you play NBA 2K against any of your blackish castmates? I've been trying to remind them every single day. Like, guys, you should get the game. You promised me you would get the game like two months ago. You're so busy. You have blackish, you've been doing dance performances, playing NBA 2K, of course, because you have to fit that into your schedule. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any dream job that you would love to do? I want to be in the NBA. I also probably, probably wouldn't be on the Cavaliers. The only reason why is because I want to wear the same number as LeBron, but LeBron's number would already probably be retired. So I wouldn't be able to wear the number. And I like that you're already thinking about this yeah, though. You I, have a plan I, I, ahead of you. My <laughs> mom and dad are like acting like, like I'm crazy because I'm already thinking about it. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. So fun doing the move. And, yes. And I love your show. We're fans of fans. Yes. Woo! What's up, 2K fans? Scott O'Gallagher here. Last week, we went over the pick and roll controls. Now we're gonna take your pick and roll game to the next level. One of the most common questions I get from the 2K community is, how do I attack this ice defense? The first question you're asking is, what is the ice defense? What is this scheme? A big focus of this defense is to keep the ball on one side of the floor. No matter what, this ball can't go middle. So Kyle Lowry is gonna force it down to the baseline, and Valanchunas here is in a direct line with Parker. Valanchunas' responsibility in ice is to make sure that when Parker goes, he contains until Lowry can get back. So he's basically playing two. He's playing Tony Parker, and he's playing Tim Duncan at the same time. Now that we know the formation, we have to identify the weak side of the defense. Imagine that we have a line directly down the middle of the floor. Wherever the ball is, is where the strong side is. So the weak side defenders in this case are Scola, Carroll, and DeRozan. This is important because this is going to decide who's going to help on a drive or the roll man dive into the rim. Now let's get to the offensive side and how we attack this ice defense. When attacking the ice defense, there's two things that I recommend. One is drag this thing down as far as you can, and two, flip the side of the screen. And what I mean by that, as we roll here, Duncan is gonna change his angle of the screen as Parker goes, stop, now we've attracted two, and this is really what they call a single side screen and roll. It is literally just a two man game on one side of the floor. Also, another predicament that we've put him in is that if Duncan were to roll, this would bring Scola. Scola would be responsible for the help. But then again, the distance on the pop from the weak side help makes this a nice, easy 15 foot jumper. I hope this helps and that we've taken your pick and roll game to another level. Until next time. Make sure you guys keep sharing those highlight videos on social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. Who will come up with the top play this week? You guys get to choose. Let's check them out. All right, it's quiz time again. Let's earn some VC. Which formation is this? Tim Duncan is on which side of the floor? If Tim Duncan were to roll, who's responsible for the help?
What's one way to attack the ice defense? Next week is Thanksgiving, and I want to see all that you're thankful for. Continue sharing on social media using the hashtag 2KTVThanks. And I'll see you guys later. Uh -huh.